Well, welcome back. This is Greater Devotion, and I'm Pastor Brad. And today I want to ask you the question, what does it mean to be broken, especially when we talk about being broken before God? That's one of those phrases you might hear people talking about in church. You might hear a preacher like me say on a Sunday morning, but it's something that is critical to our faith and the journey that we go on in life uh, spiritually. Uh, and it is really, to me, a determining factor of how all of those things will go. And so I want to explain myself and what uh, brokenness is. We're going to look into that a little bit even this week as we go uh, on a journey through this. But really, honestly, when I talk about being broken, I don't mean what we typically think of when we think about something that is broken in the sense that when something is broken, it no longer has value or use. You know, usually if something breaks and we can't fix it, it gets disposed of, discarded, recycled, or turned maybe even into something else. Well, that's not what we're talking about when we're talking about brokenness, especially when we talk about uh, our attitude before the Lord. And brokenness really is an attitude that we have before God. When we talk about brokenness, what we're talking about is the fact that we have come to the end of ourselves and we're no longer uh, independent of God, but we actually have sort of come to the place where that independence, that, that spirit of independence has been broken. And instead, we're learning how to allow God to have really control or authority over our lives. And so uh, we come to the Lord in a humble and contrite fashion. Again, we're going to talk about a little bit of this this week, but I want to start off this week in a simple passage of Scripture which really sets the tone and explains this a little bit. In Psalm 51, verses 16 through 17, it says, For you will not delight in sacrifice, or I would give it. You will not be pleased with an offering. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart. O oh God, you will not despise. And so this is really the psalm that David is writing concerning the fact that he's trying to get right with God. And he's saying that God is really not looking at those external things, those sacrifices that he could easily get. He could easily go down and he could offer a sacrifice at the temple before the Lord and in some way make restitution for the things that he has done. Yet what he's actually talking about is that the Lord is not looking for those external things, but he's looking for something to be broken in the heart. In other words, the place where we feel uh, you know, the the burden and the weight of our sin. It's it's the place where we feel like we really want to, to love God and we really want God to love us and we want God to be happy with us. It's that attitude of being broken of spirit in the inside where we seek after the Lord. He says, this is what God is really going after. And actually, that is what makes uh, or gives value to the sacrifices that he would even offer to the Lord in the place of the temple. And so, you know, there is this thing, if we look at the scripture throughout history, where people fall on either one side of a fence or another. They're broken of, of heart and spirit. In other words, they've come to the place of recognizing that it's not from within that they're going to get right with the Lord, but it's actually uh, in that attitude, that place of wanting to seek after the Lord that drives them. It's the driving force that gets them right with God. And then there's other people who really want the Lord to bend the knee to them and to uh, give them the things that they want. And you fall kind of in one of two categories. I'm not going to go into that today, but the idea is this, is that we come to the Lord through that place, that spirit of brokenness, of humility and contrition, and that is what opens up the rest. And that is what gives the things that we do before the Lord any real value uh, is that brokenheartedness. And on that good word, let's close with prayer. Lord, we thank you for today. And Lord, we ask in Jesus' name that you would help us to come to that place of brokenness before you, where we are not broken people, but we have a broken 
heart, a broken spirit. In other words, we have come to the place of just recognizing our need for you and that in that we raise that desire for seeking after you and being pure before you. And Lord, help us to be in that place as we seek you out. Uh, in Jesus' name, amen. Well, thanks again for watching. Go ahead and click the like and the share button. We do appreciate when you do. Go ahead and, uh, you know, come on back tomorrow. We're going to be doing a few videos this week on this. I'd um, love to kind of walk you through a little bit of a process. So return here tomorrow until we see each other again. Remember to show somebody a little bit of kindness, love, and respect even today. We'll talk to you soon. Goodbye.